Hello there, my beautiful friends. I'm grateful I seeing you guys today showing up because I understand that only 5% of the world that really want to change and you guys are one of them. So as a result of this second episode in our financial accounting journey, you will have the confidence to recognize any kind of debit or credit account. But I'm going to say, I'm guarantee you will get the result but at the beginning, it's kind of complicated. But in the long run, you guys will thank me for this video because it's unprecedented. So don't forget to hit the like button over here. Reason, it's free. And the second thing is that it's gonna be the huge motivation for me to move me forward and finish this accounting journey with you guys. So my name is Harvey. Let's get started right now. Just because you're right doesn't mean I'm wrong. You just haven't seen life from my side. Personally, this picture is a perfect analogy of what exactly debit and credit is. Debit and credit are the reflections of the double-sided nature of all financial transactions. And every financial transaction involves the flow of the economic benefit from a source to a destination. Credit is a source that those economic benefits can flow from Whereas debit is going to be the destination that those economic benefit can flow to. Let's throw back my pancake business at Ankasals in our last videos. In order to keep everything function properly, as a business owner, cash is always my biggest concern. The question to me at the end of the day is that where is my cash come from? What is the possible places that I can actually leverage to get the cash? Exactly, there's going to be three places that I can actually do. Firstly, cash can come from the third parties that I can actually borrow, like from a bank. We call liabilities. The second, cash can actually come from myself or shareholders. We calling that equities. The third one, cash can actually earn through providing values, selling a product or services. We calling that revenues. Liabilities, equities, and revenues, all three options above are the only sources that my economic benefit can flow from. On the other hand, what places can my cash go to? Where's my business spending those cash on? And there's exactly free obligation I need to pay. The first one I need to pay is I need to pay back to my shareholders, those who actually own my shares of this business. In our case, it's only me. We're calling that dividends. Second, I need to pay all of the bills I have from utilities, renting, employee salaries, and etc. We're calling that expenses. Last but not least, I, in order to keep everything up to date, I need to buy more equipment and buy some kind of supply for my suppliers. In last case, I actually buy a fry pan, very fancy one, from Target and all of the basic ingredients from Walmart. We're calling that access. In other words, if we have liabilities, equities, and revenues, it's the source of this journey. We're going to have the dividends, expenses, and access as the destinations. Debit is always on the left, and credit is always on the right. Hmm, too many things to remember, right? Because I designed this one like a journey from beginning to end, from easy to hard. And like I said at the beginning, this is not going to be an easy journey. But I want to make sure that if you guys are willing to put in the time and effort, you will get the result. So as an architect for this journey, I want to design this one so that you guys can build your house with a very concrete foundation. So stay tuned with me and back to our topics over here. Our next question that we need to address is that how this simple concept that we learned today can help you guys have an easy life with the accountings. Is there any connections between the those that we learned today and the accounting equations that we have learned last week? The answer is yes. And let me prove it to you. Hey. Hold on, I mean, if Matt doesn't your strong suit, no problems. We're gonna go through a little bit demonstration over here. There's gonna be a lot of formulas to remember, but like I said before, I'm always by your side. Keep watching this one over and over again. You're gonna be fine, I promise to you. Our accounting equation is access equal to liability plus equities. But in order to keep everything clear and straightforward over here, I wanna deep dive in an extended version of the accounting equations. Let's break it down over here. Equities is equal to the owner equities plus retained earning. 
and retained earnings is the net income left over for the business after it paid out dividends to the shareholders. In other words, retained earnings is equal to revenues minus expenses and minus dividends. So here what we got. Access equal to a liability plus the owner equities plus revenues minus expenses and minus dividends. Let's do some simple arrangements over here. Here's what we have over here. Dividends plus expenses plus access are equal to liability plus equities plus revenue. On one side, we have the normal debit account. It increased when debited and decreased when credited. On the other side, we have the normal credit account. It increased when credited and decreased when debited. Debit is always on the left and credit is always on the right. And if we take each letters in these equations, we will have the secret weapons that we we'll use in the future from now on. D E A L E R, dealer. Okay, I completely understand that this video is a little bit too long, too theoretical, and too overwhelming right now. But because I want to make sure that at, after you guys finish two series, I mean, it's going to be two part, part one and part two, you will have the confidence to ace any kind of problems you can see with credit and debit. In part two, I will go deep, deeply about how we can actually leverage dealer. D-E-I-L-E-R can help you to ace any kind of problems and any kind of homework you see in the future. But first, let's come with a recap. So debit is going to be the destination of our economic benefit can flow to, whereas credit is going to be the sources of our economic benefit can flow from. Remember that credit and debit are the double-sided nature of all financial transactions. A warning's over here. Credit and debit is not going to be the same thing as increasing or decreasing. And because it's going to be the opposite side of all financial transactions, so it doesn't mean good or bad. The last thing you guys need to remember is our weapons over here. Dealer. D-E-A-L-E-R. Dividends, expenses, access, liabilities, equities, and revenues. All right, we've been going so far, and congratulations if you make this this far. So in, in a part two, we were discussing about the real example and how you can actually using dealer to recognize any kind of credit or debit account. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm to share this knowledge to more people. My name is Harvey. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.